Jim, first of all, can you give us an update on Markey? So, so Markey got hurt the other, the other night in the Boston game. Um, it's a lower body injury. Um, he, you know, he woke up the next day, felt okay. He flew to Montreal. He, we went and he did an MRI this morning. Um, he's flying back tomorrow. Going to meet with our doctors Wednesday morning, and we'll have a better timeline after that. The report that it could be three to four weeks is. Can you see that at all? It could be. Like I don't know. We don't know for sure yet how long it's going to be. But like I said, he's flying back tomorrow. Going to meet with our doctors Wednesday morning, and we should have a better timeline, like Wednesday afternoon, late Wednesday. What's your level of concern at Jim with with the season and the and the schedule that you have ahead of you in March? Well, we've been you know we've been working with Thatcher Demko now for a year and a half, and this is you know he's played good goal for us. We our team has confidence in him. This is an opportunity for him to, you know, step in and, and you know, play like he's played for us all year. So, um, you know, it's not a perfect situation, but it's, it's you know, it, it is what it is, and it's going to be a great opportunity for Thatcher. You go for Louis Domingue, um, but Robert Lehner also moved roughly at the same time. Was there any interest there? Um, we, you know, we've been taught, we were talking uh, uh, on the Domingue thing all morning. Um, it made sense for us to, you know, do that. We gave up uh, Zane McIntyre for Louis. Uh, Louis has experience. He's, you know, in the league and he's played well. We, um, you know, we were really weren't in on the Leonard thing, no. Will Domingue back up while Markstrom is out? Yes, he's flying into Montreal. We haven't done. We're still in the queue on the trade call, but we got the trade call done here, and then he'll fly into to back up uh, Thatcher tomorrow. Jim, did your thought process change at all after your team's performance on Saturday against the Bruins, a 9-3 victory, as well as the way that they've played all season long? But did that change your way about maybe doing business today? Because there was a lot of business that was being done in terms of keeping your group together. Well, like I've said all along, I really like our group. I, li I like the team. I like the players. I like the chemistry of the group. Um, you know, we tried to address, like, losing Brock there. We tried to address going out and getting Tyler Toffoli to, to make up for some of that scoring, and he's shown to be a good fit so far. Um, I guess the other thing I would say is, like, you know, we gave up a first-round pick last summer to acquire, you know, JT Miller, and, and you know, so we had him over the course of this whole year. So um, I think last July 1st we were aggressive and, you know, signing some extra players and through injuries and stuff, you know, we've needed the extra players around. And and so, you know, I'm, I'm happy, you know, that we're able to get Tyler Toffoli uh, and he's part of our group going forward. I like our defense. Um, I like the depth of our team. So, you know, hopefully we can keep playing hard and winning our share of games. What do you make with what went on around you? Orders got busy today. Vegas did as well. What do you see with everything that went on today? Well, I think, you know, each team tries to address whatever needs they think, you know, makes their team better. Um, you know, like with us, when we lost Brock, we tried to, you know, figure figure something out to add more scoring. So we went and got to Foley. So, you know, I'm not, um, you know, what other teams did doesn't concern us. We need to take care of our own business. We need to keep playing well as a team and, you know, win our share of games. And, you know, we played together all year as a group. So I think there's something to be said for that, too. Jim, well, just a suggestion. Well season, I think adjectives like resiliency have been tossed around with your team. Is this going to be a real test of that? Yeah, but like every team goes through injuries. Um, we've tried to have the depth, you know, to overcome injuries. And, you know, this is this is going to be a good chance for Thatcher to, you know, get in games and show us what he can do. And he's played well for us all year, so I expect him to now. You know, there had been a suggestion that you were going to look to improve your back end. Were you, were you close in that regard? Uh, no, I'm happy with our defense. Um, you know, we talked in different situations to different teams, but um, nothing, you know, really made sense. I didn't think for us that it was going to improve us drastically, and so I'm happy with our group. Was there any serious discussions on Troy Stetcher? You're not saying you were looking to move him, but even teams looking to acquire him? Yeah, so there was teams that called me on Troy Stetcher. Like, I never brought up his name like we were trying to move him, 
I like Troy Stetcher. He's a competitive kid. Um, he's a Vancouver kid. He, you know, he shows up and he competes hard every night. Um, you know, it got out there that teams are calling us on him. Um, but, like, he's part of our group of six guys. And, uh, you know, I was never really looking to shop him or move him. It's just it came out there that teams were calling us on him. What about the toughness piece? I know that Wayne Simmons' name was, was out there at one point. Was mm -hmm. that an area you wanted to address? Well, we talked about that. Um, we got Zach McEwen that, you know, is a player that, you know, can – we think can play minutes for us and he supplies us with some of that um you know he'll stick up for his teammates but we we talked about it um we talked to other teams but nothing made sense for us to go out and try to give up the assets that were at the other teams were asking for to, to to bring that piece into our group jim whether it was uh, maybe berchi or another player were there any moves considered to help yourself out cap wise now or in the future mm-hmm we, you know, we talked to some teams about Sven. Um, some teams showed interest. They, you know, were going to try to see if they could figure it out, like, you know, uh, with another player from another team. Um, I, I circled back with the teams, you know, before the end of the trade deadline, and they had, they found other options. So um, it, it didn't end up working out where, you know, we could do anything with them now. But... I think maybe at the draft there might be a chance.